hey guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl Tivera here as usual and as always holding it right down here with you guys so first of all i'd like to give a big shout out to those of you who are new members here i'm talking about those of you who are just tuning into this channel for the first time those of you who are seeing this pretty face and listening to this lovely voice for the first time so i'm just gonna do it like we do in the church i'm talking about um most pentecostal churches here in nigeria so if you're a new member here if you're worshiping with us today for the first time please can you kindly stand up let us honor you let us welcome you and all that so if you're a new visitor here please can you stand up please can you wave your hand in the comment section all right yeah i see you i see you thank you for checking this out now to my ogs to ndioman jemon you know thinking people that give me the morale that boost my energy and all that that makes me to keep coming back to this channel thank you all i appreciate your support i appreciate your love i appreciate your energy i appreciate all of that thank you for holding it right down here with me on this channel so uh, today uh, today's vlog is going to be a road trip from enugu to anambra guys something urgent really came up that i need to dash down to anambra like asap and um i'm making the quick trip it's so brief my visit my, my, my trip down there is going to be so brief that I'll just breeze in and breeze out and one thing i'm sure of is that nobody's gonna see me walk in you know why because it is past 5 p.m in in nigeria currently and your baby girl is still in enugu i've not even worn my pants and by pants i mean my trousers or skirts definitely i'm gonna wear a trouser i uh, okay let's not talk about my fashion right now so definitely i'm gonna wear a trouser and i've not worn that i just wanted to quickly record this part before hitting the road and showing you guys places so it's 5 p.m you are this juncture if you call me on your job and you're definitely not wrong although this is not my routine way of traveling i do not enjoy night trip or evening trip however i enjoy traveling when the sun is not so harsh so that's like very early in the morning or late in the afternoon but at least not 5 pm now okay i'm just confident that it is an umbra there now and by god's grace and everything being equal i'm gonna get there safely in the mighty name of jesus amen so i said it's an urgent trip so you guys should not chop me in the comment section don't even try it all right so um i just thought i should i should take you guys along with me to show you places between anambra and enugu rather um to show you places between enugu and anambra state so um i'll be taking you guys along with me and i'll be hoping and looking forward that you guys take note of things since your last trip between these states if there are improvements not that down if there are deterioration also note that down i'll be looking forward to reading all of that as comments in the comment section so that is all of that that is all about this vlog and as usual i'm gonna make it interesting and engaging as much as i can and um remember to subscribe to my channel and our subscription is basically free youtube ain't gonna charge you nada for subscribing to my channel instead you'll be supporting my ministry and helping me get to the permanent site because this girl really needs to get to the permanent site don't you agree i'm sure you guys agree with me now eh? i've been working a lot more for you guys and all that so uh like this video share with those you feel that might be interested in watching this vlog okay drop your comments in the comment section below and um i'll see you guys on the other side of the road you know when we make that long but brief trip an umbrella from an umbrella from enugu basically is less than an hour if our routes were good i'm talking about if everybody in the government are up and doing and doing what they ought to do but it's going to take me more than an hour to get there and when i get into an umbrella i'm sure it's also going to take me like another pretty 30 25 minutes to get to where i'm going to because it's late i'm also looking forward to the traffic at many strategic points that will be passing through because i am carefully going to avoid the express routes all of our southeast express roads are nothing to write home about so i'm going to warn you before and i'm not even going to go there so don't even look forward to seeing bad roads mm -mm. i'm not going, i'm not i'm not taking there i won't even dare take there all right so guys um let me quickly dress up wear my pants and um see you guys on the other side of the road peace i remember when we started doing this thing people said it was illuminati sign like all of us would go to hellfire is, does that theory still hold like if i should do this i'm already in hellfire <laughs> i don't know <laughs> tell me guys what you think Cardigo didn't be good
currently i'm going to the gas station or the filling station as we call it here in nigeria to get fuel this is the basic thing you do if you're embarking on a road trip so currently i'm at fontana oil and gas somewhere in independence layout enugu so guys i'm currently at independence layout moving down to join the express at uguaji i am taking this road just because i want to go to anambra through the four corner express road and i chose that four corner express road not because this is the shortest cut to anambra but because it is the best option to anambra right now after millican hill road but you know that express road any go nature express road that leads to nightmare i'm talking about the ugonyama road that road is messy like that road is something all of our politicians all of everybody in government officials should bow their head in shame like that is a major road and if you are taking that road to anambra you're just going to spend less than one hour and you're already in anambra but that road is a death trap currently if you don't love your car take that road if you don't even like your life take that road the road has been abandoned to heavy trucks and um trailers coming in from wherever into enugu or leaving enugu through that road so I can't even can with that road because I'm so ashamed of that road and I'm so pissed at the government for letting that road deteriorate to what it is. So this is me currently now living in Independence Labs trying to join the express from at Uguaji. So, so this is Uguaji in Enugu South, local government of Enugu. A lot of you guys are from Uguaji. You've asked me to show you Uguaji, but this is not me showing you, but I'm passing through Uguaji. Going down to Four Corner where I will join the major road that leads to Anambra. This is the MH flyover, I think. So, if I'm wrong, please correct me. Over there by my left is the Centenary City. So, this is where the Enugu Centenary City is. That entrance here, yeah, this entrance leads to the Centenary City. Probably on a very good day, we'll vlog about the Centenary City. Now, by my right is um, another estate being handled by Helio Homes. Helio is um, a real estate company here in Enugu. They are selling a block of houses and flats over there in that estate. And this is the Gariki flyover. So this flyover, if you get on top here, heading towards Gariki or Amicha. The, the, the two flyovers usually confuse me, but it is what it is. So I'm currently on the Enugu Portacourt Express Road right now. Heading down to Akwasha. Akwasha is in Nkano. Also, Akabuku. All of these places are in Nkano. So, if you are from either of these places, drop your comment in the comment section. And, um, yeah, we'll talk about that. We'll probably get to speak your dialect there. Okay? Alright, guys. So, I am still moving down. Heading towards Four Corners. Four Corners is actually a very popular junction or place along this road. And, um... I've known it to be four corners since I was born and I don't really know the reason probably because it leads to four major places so four corner by the left leads to Abwani by the right leads to Ozala if you're going down you're going towards Ituku or Guan Port Harcourt but because I am going to Anambra State I'll be taking the right and um like I said, the right leads to Ozala community. After that, you now get to see other villages or communities in Udi, local government area of Enugu State. Yay! Yay! So right now, there's a military checkpoint on this road, which I like because this road is pretty much lonely and um, anything can happen. So we are parked here waiting for our turn. As you can see, people going in opposite direction are moving. In few minutes time it will be our turn and we'll keep moving all right so let's keep waiting and watching so guys at the time of recording this vlog i told you that it was evening so the sun is setting as you can see so uh, i'll see what we can show you guys before it becomes dark i think by now it's already past six up to six or something like that i don't know but this is the the new road and this road was actually built by sullivan chime the past governor of Enugu state he made that and i've been enjoying this road because this has been my plug down to anambra state and i recommend this as a better option to coming into enugu or living enugu if you don't want to take the millikin hill road and all that so 
that is that and thanks to sullivan he was the person that did this road and um i also heard he was the person that started the Millican hill road and um probably this current administration finished it but i don't want to double into that politics right now over here i noticed that there was a construction going here it's called the udi ozala gully erosion project and it's been handled by the nigerian erosion and watershed management project enugu state so the road was blocked on the one side we had to take another route that i've never taken before but it's still the same thing over here these shops serve as a, a wine plug for a lot of guys during weekends you see a lot of cars parked from people who come in from enugu town to take fresh udi palm wine okay even christmas is usually that way during festive periods now by my left is the road safety training college udi i think we're currently at amokwe udi right now so yeah this is amokwe udi guys okay we're still at amokwe udi going down this place is a nice plug so if you ever get into nigeria or get into enugu i am looking for a place to enjoy local delicacies of bush meat and strong palm wine i strongly recommend these places i've been here a couple of times for that but one thing i must say i don't know if it's a personal experience or general experience their palm wine is usually strong so if you're coming here make sure you're not driving or even if you must drive make sure you're applying at um 20 kilometers per hour or something like that because i found the palm wine really really strong like yeah that's my experience now moving down from amok we're heading towards Natch community the community that once had miraculous water that had people over nigeria come to it after Natch, we're heading towards oji river so this is oji river <laughs> now moving from oji river as you can see the sun is setting like sharply setting and i enjoyed filming this part because i was just watching the sunset and the color was so beautiful it was really really beautiful okay in most nigerian roads people hawk by the roadside especially in areas where the road is so bad or there is a military checkpoint so these sellers take advantage of this checkpoint or the bad road to sell their wares right now we are at ugo oba and this is another place where people buy abacha they have nice abacha for sale here so and they also have nice palm oil and all that so i eventually had to buy corn from these people because i didn't buy from the hawkers because previous times i've bought from them these people scammed me i like will give you premature corn tight inside nylon and you wouldn't know when you not take off and open your corn it is nothing but premature corn so i like <laughs> examining my corn and this is what i got from these people and their corn was really nice so this was the woman telling me after snapping me make sure you bring the picture for me so yeah this is my corn healthy looking corn guys i've entered anambra state that signboard reads welcome to anambra state i think they changed it the former one the previous one was it was bigger than this and um yeah so we are currently at amansi that is where you buy suya at amansi i didn't stop there because guys look at the weather now it is dark and it's very late so i didn't stop there and now we are the capital city of anambra state Oka, and this is where i draw the curtains for this vlog simply because it has become pitch dark i can't see anything i can't show you more than i am showing you right now and i'm so sorry i couldn't do that probably on a better day i will do that now for details sake i went through amobia enugu hunofia abagana omunachi oyolisa ogidi Mpo, and the rest to get into them so guys i hope you enjoyed this vlog i know it's very short sorry sorry about that until i come your way next time do have a pleasant day remember to subscribe to my channel drop your comments below and i'll see you guys later bye